You know, Seattle gets a couple of shots in the movie for our rain. Oh, yeah. well, it's more a shot at me, but yeah. Yeah, but John I mean, Stiff Joints. Also, UPS drivers. UPS started in Seattle, so I brought you guys some wine from Seattle. Oh, wow. Let me see this. From, from Mark Ryan Winery. Great. And he loves motorcycles, so you got motorcycles on the he front. He does. He's got an Indian on what the What kind front of, of this wine, wine is this? Uh, which one did you get? This one should be like a white wine? Or? That's the shift, and then that's the chief. So the since chief. he's the writer director, he gets the chief. Oh, it gets a Syrah? That's really nice. Are you going to be doing cocktail? Is that the next movie for I you? did this funny movie, Employee <laughs> of the Month, and I learned to do all this weird bottle stuff. Yeah, I love it. My, yeah. As a, as a young fella, one. my brother and I, uh, I was a little bit darker at the time. My so brother, fair skin and red hair, he, oh, so played, he played John. John so we would ride around on our BMX bikes yeah. in the driveway. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Did you do that as kids? We were all punch. I was going to say. Even my mom was punch <laughs> in the family. He and his brother would play, and, and they were both punch, which I think is yeah. fantastic. Because yeah. my brother and I often on big wheels would play um, Dukes of Hazard, and we were both oh, yeah. Bo Duke. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, because you would argue over it, and then you'd fine, I'm not changing. I'm Bo Duke, and they yeah. would be punch. The one thing I wish, I, I, I wish that my son could see this movie, but I'm also kind of glad that he can't because it's an R rated and I get to enjoy the How real fun he? of it. Yeah, he's, <laughs> without he's feeling. He's 30, 11. Uh, yeah, he's about three, yeah, four years yeah, away. Yeah, from like three, problem. four years. Yeah. He'll know more than you do. <laughs> but the comedy is so good for the adults in it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think when you make an R rated comedy, you know, conceivably, your audience is going to be over 17. So, you know, you kind of have license to make it as adult as possible. Um, you know, I was just trying to make a movie that I'd want to go see, really. So that's, you know, that's the kind of humor I like. When you guys are, <laughs> when you're writing or when you're performing comedy, do you ever have doubt creep in and tell yourself, oh, that's not that funny, it's not going to work? And, and if so, how do you plow through that? I actually did, I mean, I didn't pay attention to that. We, you know, some of the com the comedies that I don't relate to are the ones where, like, they're actually, like, you know, joke on a joke, mm -hmm. you know, and they're playing it up and they're not acting very real. It's very hard for me to get a, get into that kind of comedy. Um, so we, you know, you know, we both agree that it's better if we just play it as honest as possible mm -hmm. in these crazy circumstances. Yeah. And I think that, like, you can kind of tell when, like, oh, this could get a giggle, this could get a giggle. But sometimes I can't tell what's going to get a huge laugh. But I think it's more important to, like, to have humor in the entire movie and then let somebody pick whatever part is comedy. What about through the writing process? Um, yeah, as, as Michael said, my favorite kind of comedy is, is a comedy that's character-driven, right? It's not joke-driven. It's not if, as if any one of the lines would have worked for anyone else. You couldn't just, you know, give them to anyone. It starts with like learning who these guys are really quick and right. then knowing like, oh God, this is the worst thing that could happen to this guy. Oh, this is the worst thing. Oh, these guys, were this they're the worst people to be paired together. Like uh, all the comedy came out of that. So we found that the more sincere we were about whatever argument we were having, the more we really tried to believe that point of view, the kind of funnier it ended up being. Like if well, you ever see anybody argue, like really argue, because I lived across the street from a park and if they're really arguing, like my dad used to argue with some people, and it was—it's just the funniest thing ever. It is. If it's like sports or like women or anything, like how could you even think like that? I'm like that to me. Yeah, that's it's from the, the best bottom guy. of their heart. Yeah, exactly. you know? yeah. yeah. How did you guys know? It, at what point was it that you knew you were going to click so well on screen? I think today is a pretty good <laughs> indicator. And they're like, you guys got great chemistry. I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good, right? Yeah, I, um, I can't tell until I watch it. Like, weirdly, the, the mm. weird uh, magic of chemistry is that only the camera sees it. You don't really, uh, you right. can do a movie with someone you love, and then the scene felt great, and you both enjoyed it, and then what, for whatever reason, it, it didn't translate to anything electric. And then, so people have it or they don't have it together. So we just got lucky, really. Bravo, guys. It's packed with yeah. laughs. I love it. Right Thank on. You. Thanks for the Thank wine, my friend. Thanks a bunch. Cheers. Yep.